Yeah, actually, there are some great teams in the Copa America. We've seen it last year um, at the World Cup um, with all these uh, great South American teams. Uh, they're able to beat big teams from Europe as well, so I'm looking forward to, to a big competition. Yeah, Brazil, after um, a disappointing World Cup, uh, their own country, I think they, they're looking for, for success, they're looking for uh, to play better football, to give the fans actually something back, especially the big defeat against uh, Germany. I think it still hurts. Uh, it was a very unusual result in, in the semi-final. So I think Brazil, uh, they want to do well, they, they have to do well and uh, they have to do better in the World Cup, uh, but still there. It's a lot of competition, so I'm not sure uh, because Chile, as a host, uh, is a, yeah, it's a tough place to go, and um, we will see um, how they handled the, the shock last uh, last year. So Argentina um, uh, with a great tournament last year at the World Cup uh, in Brazil, uh, reaching the final, just losing against Germany. Um, I think they will have confidence uh, after this yeah, great performance. Um, nobody really expected before the tournament that they can reach the final. Also Messi is still looking for this big trophy. Everyone is judging him on that trophy because he didn't win a, uh, a title with Argentina so far. Uh, Di Maria um, a lot of great talents uh, in Argentina always. And it's another opportunity to show uh, the world um, that they are able to win titles. Yeah, Uruguay. Um, the cup holders from 2011. Um, but I, I think um, they're not on that level like maybe Brazil or Argentina or even Chile as one of the hosts, so maybe a little bit one of the outsiders, um, uh, even if they won it last time, would be surprising um, if, they can, if they can go to the final. For me, Zura is a player who yeah, made a lot of headlines last tournament because of his behavior, but still a great player and will be involved and will be playing a big role for the team and has to be a, a, a good role, otherwise um, I don't think that Uruguay goes far. Yeah, Chile, uh, one of my uh, favorites for the World Cup, my dark horse, my tip, um, just went out against Brazil but still played a fantastic uh, tournament, We're a little bit unlucky and I still like the team, you know, the way they played Fantastic uh, in this difficult group uh, with Spain and, and Holland and um, they've done well and also now, even now, at home, I think the same um, when we played at home with Germany or Brazil now, I think the semi-final um, is a must for them at home and then everything is possible, you know, you have to be a little bit lucky with the draw, depends who you get, maybe no injuries, um, no suspension, but uh, yeah, with Vidal, you know, I'm used to play with him, I know, I like the kind of players they have in their team, especially in midfield, uh, really skillful, powerful players, and for me, one of the favorites again. Yeah, Colombia, they, were, um, they looked good in, at the World Cup in South America, uh, was expected, but still um, players like Rodriguez um, developed really, really well, uh, moving to Real Madrid to a big, big, big club. You see such great talents in South America and Colombia with Falcao just came back from an injury, so they have the quality as well to go far, uh, also a little bit, um, yeah, depending on the performance, on the, on the draw, and we will see, but it's for them everything is possible. A little bit comparable um, to Chile for me, um, also a team where you have to look, where you have to pay attention, and um, I'm really 
Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to see some exciting games. <laughs>